Hey, we're back for more Dominion Coaching. A review series cast. Hi, I'm Adam. <laughs> I'm Jake. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this board and uh, yeah the person who submitted it to us. Yeah. So uh, as always, this is part of our Dominion Coaching series or Dominion Review, where we get to analyze these games that are recorded, submitted to us, and go through play by play, looking at the game state, the decisions that both players are making and how we may or may not be doing things differently if we were in one of the two seats. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's going on here? It looks like base only. Yeah, this is a base set only game. So, um, you know, if you're interested in that, we get to go into that. Yeah, so what's going on here? There's uh, all the things. You can do a lot of stuff. You can junk. You can trash super fast. Yeah. You've got Throne Room and Festival for Villages. There's plus buy around. Uh, but the only draw looks like it's Library and Witch. Mm -hmm. So Witch isn't the strongest draw ever. Witch and Festival together don't even make draw. You have to throw Throne Rooms in the mix to make yeah. that work. And I, I think Library is actually maybe even worse in this case because the idea of lining it up with Festivals is dubious at best. Uh, dubious, huh? Yeah. It's normally dubious, but I think, uh, I think it's pretty good here. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's... I think you're better off ignoring library and getting a bunch of festivals, throne rooms, and witches. All right. I uh, I don't... I think you want to build the festival library deck. I think you do. Places. Like, cellar's pretty good for that, and throne yeah. room, of course, is... I mean, it's great. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you get a chapel, you incorporate witches until the curses are gone, but then, like, you clean up. And you get a buttload of festivals and several libraries, and I think that deck is pretty good. It's bandit-proof okay. when the curses are gone. It doesn't care about the witch anymore. I mean, at some point I might have to cut it early and start greening, but like, I think the festival library deck is kind of the direction you want to go. All right, so we are looking at what we have there. The draw to X, though, is going to be super unreliable, especially if you end up incorporating Bandit into your payload. I wouldn't put Bandit in that deck. Yeah, so we'd have to see where we're going with that and what the opponent's doing as well. Um, so I think that you, you're opening with a Chapel no matter what hand you get. Yeah. No matter what hand you get dealt. I think opening with a Chapel is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, the best question is what do you pair with that Chapel? And on a 5-2, I'm going to be very happy, and I think I'm getting a witch. Sure. And on a 4-3, I think I'm just going to get silver. Yeah, I could see silver, if you really think it's important to play that chapel as often as possible, really, really quickly, seller. Um, or you could do a remodel because of the trash for benefit. Like, and the what game. am I going to remodel into on that first shuffle? Nothing nothing about. amazing, but eventually you trash the chapel with it, yeah. Okay, well, I'll pick up the remodel later. I like chapel silver opening. Sure. All right, let's see what happens. All right, opponent opens silver. Mm hmm And we actually... Oh, yeah, there is sound. All right, let's, let's <laughs> take care of that. There's no commentary, right? No. Again, no mic. But, yeah. Um, okay, so we get chapel... They get remodel silver, no chapel. Hmm. Well, Your opponent has not should, bought a chapel. This should go pretty well. So chapel's really important not only because it's amazing and trashes your cards, but it helps you play witches more often. Yeah. And, like, if I'm going to have a really thin deck that just plays multiple witches and my opponent doesn't have a way to clean up after that, they just can't do anything. Yeah. So, so if they don't get a chapel, like... I just want to... You go oh, Chapel yeah. Silver? Chapel Silver, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> then the, right now, yeah. my goal is to just play all of the witches. So uh -huh. that's a different build. Yeah, because and it's reacting to what the opponent hasn't done. Yeah. The fact that he bought a remodel and is relying on that for his trashing. I mean, like, witch, er, remodel does not want to be trashing curses. Like it's bad. You no. really need chapel for that. Like yeah. sentry is I mean, sentry's not a good card unless you get it like turn one or two or yeah. maybe three or four, but like it's too late for that already for the opponent. Yeah. Like, if that's not gonna clean up curses. Lining so, his sentry up with his curses is hard to do in his position. So in any position. So anyway, <laughs> uh yeah. What do you what do you get here? I mean, we saw it, Ben, and I think 
it was a good move. I think silver is good here. Okay, yeah. Do you yeah. Think? Yes, yes. I okay, think the cool. silver is what you get. Yeah. Um, and then Excellent. you're looking at four. And this is turn three. This is uh, the silver that okay. I think should be gotten. Yep. All right, so you've got your chapel. So I think you should play the chapel, but uh, you don't have any curses in hand, so there's no need to trash anything. You just yeah. want to get that action card in you play. play the You play the chapel so that your peddlers are cheaper. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you're just giving up money and points if you trash these cards. Yeah, that was a, okay, new okay, play. big mistake, but yeah. anyway, we'll move on. You're never, we're going to come back to that. What if that hand had three more dollars in it? Yeah, seriously. From those coppers you trashed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what do you, what okay, do you get so, here? Um, I think that you're probably getting a lot, a lot of festival at this point. Are you serious right now? First of all, la, 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 la is not in the kingdom, so la, please la, 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 try la. and stay focused. But second of all, uh, you said festival, and mm -hmm. that is not the card that I would be buying here. Oh, she doesn't have a witch yet. <laughs> get a witch. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. I let's, thought, let's I get thought get you had your witch. I'm sorry. Let's you get the witch, witch. And, then, and then let's pick up the festival in a minute. So yeah, yeah let's let's pitch everything but the silver and buy a seller here. Yeah. 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 Trash the silver too. Silver's a bad card. Um, <laughs> Joking. So we need to be able to continue to buy fibers. Joking, yes. The silvers can go once we have enough festivals to do stuff. I but don't. as long as we can continue to draw them, like, they're going to help us. Yeah. And no. a cellar is something we want in the deck. I was so joking about fine. trashing the silver. Okay, good. <gasps> yeah. And, like, you're happy to pick up a cellar. Yeah, cellar number one is just fine here. Yeah. I don't think you want. It looks like that, you're but... deciding whether or not to do it. Okay, so you grabbed the seller. I'm glad you did. I, I think she's played this game perfectly so far. I have I've have liked all of her plays so far. She your opponent buys a gold. Yep. Uh, Why didn't your witch, opponent buy a witch? Get the festival. I don't understand. No chapel, no witch. Your opponent's gonna have a bad time. Yeah, I uh, don't like this. Yeah. What what he's doing? Uh, I think so you hit get five a festival here. And six. Oh, get to seven. Do it. Play that copper. Come on. You know you want to. I don't know. It's so much work. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna do it. <laughs> Don't do it! No, play the copper. Okay, so what are you actually going to buy? Uh, you're going to grab a festival. Excellent choice. Yep. I approve. Yep, that's good. Ooh, this this one is a little crunchy here. So first of all, we're looking at this is this is actually interesting. Yeah. Uh, this I I actually I've been emailing a guy uh, Jez, which if you're listening to this, shout outs. But um, hi Jez. But we've been talking about uh, some kingdoms, and one of the things that came up. Is, is what goes into a decision like this. And it's not just the cards well, you're looking at. So what's the what, the decision you're talking about is whether or not to play the chapel and trash those coppers, right? How many coppers to trash, and then, like, what do we buy, and okay. what's our plan? And and the, the thing that uh, is important that may not be obvious is in, in these last four cards, you do have Festival and Witch. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit more okay to keep around some more cards here because you'll be able to draw them next turn and trash them. Okay. So you're going to be able to draw three cards from what we get here. So I'm really tempted to keep two of the coppers and get a throne room. That's that's a valid consideration. It's My aggressive, but I like it. Yeah. Gives that, you the chance of, like, you, you can you could, deck that you, throne room and throne the witch next you, turn. You could get screwed by draws, though. How screwed are you going to be, though? Like, let's... So you're going to have five cards. You're mm -hmm. going to have chapel, silver, copper, copper, throne room. You're okay. going to draw three of them next turn. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you draw the throne room right away, that's amazing. Yes. If uh, you so don't, you have a seller in these four cards, too. One of those throne rooms is missing from the pile. Did your opponent buy it? I think so. That's bad. What, he doesn't have the action density for a throne room. Agreed. Okay. Go There's ahead. also a seller in these cards, though. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, in the best case, you'll be able to draw and then trash the coppers and hopefully, like, throw in a witch or, some, or something like that. Uh, you might draw the throne room dead, but, like, I mean, you're you're in the same situation as if you had not done anything here. You, right. can, you can also potentially, like, play the cellar and try and find the throne room and throw in the witch, too, next turn. So, like, festival witch and cellar in this draw pile makes me want to make a really aggressive play here. Okay, I understand that. That's a uh, very analytical of everything, all the information that's happening uh, in both your deck and in the kingdom. Um, my first instinct is looking at this hand is to say, I'm going to trash the coppers because I have good cards coming up and I'll be able to buy back buying power and be building my deck a little more assuredly. 
um, and with less reliance on how I draw my cards. But given the calculated nature of the risk, I could see a case for what you're advocating as well. I definitely like my way more. That's why it's my way. <laughs> Other thing is, uh, the you could get a remodel here. Remodel's not super crazy. I'm not crazy about the remodel. I'm not either because I really like the idea. I mean, Throne Room's a better card for the deck. However, yeah. like, uh, if you draw the Throne Room dead, you're a little sad. If you draw the remodel, you might be able to remodel something probably next the, turn. You're not going to draw the Throne Room dead at this point, especially if you next do... Next turn? There's a good next, chance of it. Next turn? You mean next shuffle? Next turn, next you're turn. Gonna, next turn you're going to have a really good turn. You're next about to turn draw is your... next shuffle. Yeah, next turn you're going to be drawing your... Oh, you're talking about so, like, you draw off the Witch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's it's decently. I'm still. I still like the throne room yeah. more. Yeah. Let's see what we do here. Let's see what we end up doing. Okie doke. Your opponent buys a chapel. It's, it's time. Hashtag. It's, it's time. It's time for the chapel for him. <laughs> He's like, huh? Got these curses in my deck. So we don't play the chapel. Uh, maybe we want to pick up, like, another festival or another witch. Okay. Oh, if you pick up the second witch, I really understand that. Because you have been cursing your opponent, and you have a festival, and your deck is getting thinner. And if you can give him those curses twice as quickly, uh, then you're twice as close to sure. just shutting him down. I think this is not all that different from getting the throne room, right? The difference being you get to trash a copper, but you kind of have to line your stuff up. Oh, you buy the festival. Festival's like a safe play. I like the second witch a little better. Yeah, I like picking up the, the witch or the throne room. Your opponent next. throws a library, which is not a good card to throne. And he hits nine. He's totally going to buy the province, isn't he? He shouldn't, but he's it's going consistent to. consistent with the strategy i don't know he, he buys a he buys a century oh he's like oh curses are bad let's get rid of them yeah hashtag it's time okay and so i think i would just thin those coppers here and uh pick yeah. up the room. looks like you do that <laughs> yeah and i think you know that throne room is the better card for your deck and you uh, buy it. Remodel is okay here because uh, there's not there's only the one copper left you want to chapel, so like there's something to remodeling it. But uh, the throne room is is really good here. You can pick up the remodel in a minute. Yeah. Throne festival. What, what are we gonna have here? Nine and multiple buys. So witch number two and remodel. I think is good here. I like witch throne. Uh, that's also fine. Yeah. They're very close. Yeah. I agree. But I would prefer the remodel. Yep. Jessica's here. Hi. Yep. We're talking about your game. Yeah. I feel like ideas. you've played this one really well so far. Yeah. I mean, uh, we both we both agree with like ninety nine percent of your decisions so far. Um. So. Hi, doggy. Oh, you're choosing whether or not to play the copper. It's a bold move. Okay, Ooh. you do it. Yeah. All right. I like that play. Um, I like yeah. the copper play. I like the playing of the copper. Yeah. It lets you have more money. Yeah. And money is good to have if you have the choice between having it and Are not having it. Especially on this turn. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's Especially on this turn. Um. Yeah, so... Because it helps you get the second witch that you really, really want. Yeah, you want the second witch because... Because you want it. Funneling curses into him <laughs> is good, yeah. Yeah, it's super great. Oh, so is drawing cards. Man, which is so good. It's such a good card. Yeah. It's almost like Smithy. <laughs> it's almost as good as Smithy. Um, and you get a witch and a throne room. Do it. Do it! Throne room and remodel are both fine here. Hi, <laughs> Dominion people. Silver? What? This no. Stop. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh. oh. What'd I do? Throne room would have been better, you but bought a it's silver. okay. It's I okay. mean, you're going to crush this guy anyway, but uh, <laughs> the throne room could have thrown the festival, and that would have been just as good as the silver. So. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. So, yeah, what do we do here? We sell right. everything but the witch and try and find a festival. Yep. This is where you think, what do I want for my turn? I want to play this witch non-terminally. That's what I want for my turn. How can I make that happen? One of these silvers could have been a throne room, which I would also be cellaring here, so it's yeah, not a huge I mean, deal. I don't, I don't have a to huge difference the there. Yep. You need the festival, and they're in your deck, and you did it! Hotness, and we Good can job. draw a throne for this other witch, please, deck. Okay, fine. That's the festival's part. Good too. Whatever. Yep. Whatever. Woo! Dead throne! It's <laughs> unfortunate, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Man, if that had been a remodel, no, yeah, I think the throne was right to pick up. 
Okay, well, so we don't know which throne room. At this point, was. um, you're either gonna no, no, don't you even think about stop it. it. No, <laughs> all right, let's pause the video. Okay, so let's talk about this. You don't need a green just because your opponent green. Like, too many people do that. Pe too many people. Uh, the opponent didn't even green. Oh. So like, shut up, Jake. <laughs> um, <laughs> so first of all, um, there. We are still pretty firmly in the let's empty the curse pile into our opponent's deck as quickly as possible phase. Yeah. There are six curses left in the pile, so we could be <laughs> buying cards that help us put more curses into the opponent's deck. And just because the opponent hasn't bought a witch yet doesn't mean he won't ever. Yeah. Of it. He, he, there's a theme here where he buys the cards he needs, he just does it a few turns later. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, that is true. Yeah. So, so the other thing is, let's let's talk about this this province here. We hit nine this turn, and I believe that that is all of the money in our deck. Those last two cards are chapel yeah. and throne. Probably, I like um, festival throne, throne throne, witch throne. Uh, there are a lot of things I like there, and well, none of them were the problem. I wasn't, I wasn't done making my point here. So, like, this is all the money in our deck. We have $9 in our deck. And if we want to hit Province again, which we're probably going to need to do yeah. again before the game's over, to one, win, would, one would assume. If we're going to do that, uh, we need to find basically all the money in our deck. This copper does us no good, right? Yep. Copper is worthless. We have to find two festivals and two silvers, and maybe we can get away with a throne room for one of them. We'll see you get a copper smith in play. How many provinces do we think we can put in the deck and still be able to make that happen with the only draw in our deck being which? 55. Um, so there's only eight in the pile. I appreciate your use of that number. <laughs> That's a great number. However, there's only eight in the pile, and uh, I really think the number is like two or three. Probably two. So, like, we really need to build up a lot more in order to um, make sure our deck can stand to have this green in it. Sure. So the, the province here is a, is a pretty big mistake. And if you lose the game, that's why. <laughs> I kind of want to have her for the real time, too. I still, think, <laughs> I still think you are miles ahead of your opponent. All right, so he thrones a uh, sentry. I don't care what he's doing, honestly. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. We're just going to win this game. I yeah. kind of want to turn the video off. <laughs> That's fine. There's, like, a lot of time here. Let's just fast forward. All right. And... Come on, YouTube. Really? Really? <laughs> All right, we're buying another province. Oh, no, you got to get... You don't want to leave one province in the pile. Yeah. End gameplay mistake. Get double dutchy. Get that, get that chapel. Yes, get the chapel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we win the game, right? All right, good. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.